Moving on to the third thing that a lot of people don't pay attention to, and this is looking at your analytics, looking at the data, looking at what's happening to the content that you're posting. It's going to help you get better and improve, and you'll know what's going on. You're going to know what you need to work on and what you need to double down on because it's giving some good results. So many people just post the content and only look at the views, and they're asking themselves, why I'm not getting any views? Why I'm not getting any comments? That is what your analytics is for, you guys. Maybe you're posting at the wrong time. It doesn't always mean that your content is bad. It can just mean that your audience isn't online at this time. Or maybe you're not getting any views because your hook is bad or your thumbnail is bad. So nobody is clicking it or stopping their scroll because you haven't hooked them. Or maybe people are clicking it, but they're not watching it all the way to the end. Maybe in your content, you get off the subject and you start rambling and talking about irrelevant things and they swipe away. All of these things you can learn inside your analytics. You can find your analytics on all social media platforms. You can see a snapshot overview of your entire profile and even a specific video. But your content is your traffic source. If you don't fix your traffic source, there won't be any traffic to your offers, to your landing pages, and then there won't be any sales. So before we start wondering, why am I not getting sales? We have to go to the source of the problem and see what's happening there and see how we can fix it and or improve it. Another example is sometimes your content is good, but it needs to be pushed out further into the algorithm. And there's ways to do that. For example, when people like your content or leave a comment in your content, that's going to push your content out further into the social media platform because the algorithm thinks and understands that a lot of people are enjoying it and reacting to it. So if you're not getting enough likes or no likes at all, you have to figure out how to get people to do that. If you're not getting comments, you have to figure out how you can get people to comment. Sometimes this could be something simple as asking them to leave a comment. In my YouTube videos, I say, hey, if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave a comment down in my YouTube description. I always reply back. That's going to motivate people to take action and leave a comment. It could be something as simple as just asking them. But if you're not getting any, any engagement, your content isn't going to get pushed, even if it's great content. People may not like or leave a comment, but you got to figure out how to get them to do that and make sure you're putting out content that motivates them to do that. Another thing about your analytics, not all videos that you put out are worth repeating. That's what analytics are for. They tell you which content was well received or which content you may have to abandon. We want to double down on the content that gets results, that gets engagement, that gets likes, that gets comments, that generates leads, that turn into sales. If you start seeing content that's doing any of those things, your audience is telling you they want more of it. So put out more content about that subject and talk about it in different ways. Content marketing is all about testing and seeing what works and what doesn't. Focus on your content that generates the biggest and most results and double down on them improve them, make them better. When you do these things, you're going to see the algorithm starting to learn about your channel more and your audience is going to want to watch more of your content because you're talking about stuff they want to hear, stuff that's searchable, stuff that people are asking for that you explain in a unique way that they like. If you put out a video or some videos that only get 40 to 50 or 100 views and then you drop another video that gives you 800 or over a thousand views that's a hint right there to where you should be creating more content like that